In this tutorial in Cyberlink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to zoom in and out on a still image in your production. We have another tutorial showing you how to move the camera around to different places on a still picture. Uh, here we're going to show you how to zoom in and out. And so we'll take this picture of this trestle bridge and drag it to track number one. Uh, the default time I see as I hold my mouse over is five seconds. I think I might want a slower zoom than that, so I need to lengthen it. I'll click on duration. I'll give myself 20 seconds here as I type 20 into the seconds and click on OK. I may shorten it later if I want to. Now I, with the uh, image highlighted, I can press the F2 key. That will get me to my picture in Picture Designer. And here we're going to use keyframes. If you're unfamiliar with keyframes, we do have a lesson on that. But in short, a keyframe determines certain qualities of a picture or a movie or a title at a certain moment in time. And so the moment is defined by the scrubber here. So at the beginning of this clip, we're going to set the position by clicking on the uh, keyframe the, the gold diamond and add it on position and add it on scale. And then we're going to go to the end of the 20 seconds here and we're going to set another keyframe. I, I'm re-recording this because I made a mistake I warn everyone about. Before you change any features, move the keyframe to the point you want to change first. Otherwise, you'll just change the initial features again. So now at the end of this clip, I want to zoom in on this high trestle trail. The easiest way to do that is to reduce the size of my previous screen. We'll make it that, that big and then we'll enlarge the picture in proportion to the screen. And then we'll reposition it right about there. And because we changed both the scale and the position, uh, PowerDirector was smart enough to insert a new keyframe here, reflecting both of these properties. Now I'll just click on OK. Now if I want to play this picture, all I need to do is go back out of my designer, click on the play, and if you'll notice, it zooms in from the one position, slowly, to the other. That's how simple it is uh, to do this project. Now, if you wanted to zoom out, you could use the same approach. I'll drag another copy of it on the screen. Uh, I'll change the duration again to 20 seconds. And what I'll do is I'll press the F2 key with that highlighted. That gets me into my designer. Now, in this case, I want to go to the end because in the end, I want it all the way out. And I'll set my two keyframes with my scrubber here. I'll click a diamond here and a diamond here. And now it will end up zoomed out. And I'll go to the beginning. Again, I'll reduce the size here of my previous screen. And in proportion, I will increase the size of the picture. And I could zoom on any other location. I don't have to go right down the middle if I want. I will. I'll take this up a little bit here. Okay, and it added the keyframes again because my scrubber was at a different place, it remembers. Click on OK. Okay, and now this one will, as I click play, it will slowly zoom it out. So that's a very easy way to do a zoom on a still picture using keyframe properties in CyberLink PowerDirector, where you control over time the difference between the two settings. Mm -hmm.